Changes of the U.S. Postal Service will wait until after the 2020 presidential election. That tonight from the Postmaster General. With coronavirus, voting by mail is expected to play a big role. Changes on hold include cutting overtime and high-speed sorting machines and funding problems. Congressman Bobby Scott talked with 10 on your side's Tamara Scott after touring a post office in Newport News. Congressman Bobby Scott was here at this local post office in Newport News today to address the concerns and push for residents to get their mail in ballots in early. Well, actions speak louder than words. Those were Congressman Bobby Scott's thoughts early Tuesday morning when he stopped by this post office on 25th Street in Newport News. Late this afternoon, the Postmaster General Louis DeJoy sent out a statement clarifying any initiatives or changes to the Postal Service would come after the election. This has been a hot topic between lawmakers as the concern for delayed mail increased, especially after the Trump administration made claims they wanted to reduce resources in the post office in fear it may impact the results of the election. I spoke with Congressman Bobby Scott today before the Postmaster General made his statement. But some of the things that the president has said about sabotaging the post office in order to slow up the mail to enhance his chances of being reelected are uh, just uh, reprehensible. Scott toured the local post office today to ensure everything was intact for the local residents. In some areas, they have removed sorting machines. Uh, they don't have those machines here, so there's nothing being removed here. Uh, so that that is, is not. It's not a local problem. Despite any sort of changes Scott thought would come before the election, he offered advice. Every uh, recommendation will be to do it early so that you're not caught up in a question of whether it's going to be delivered on time. Uh, but the easiest thing to do is to just go to the registrar's office and vote. Thousands of Americans are expected to mail in their ballot this year, and Congressman Scott emphasized today to learn your jurisdiction's start dates and deadlines and to get it done early. In Newport News, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.